people of Terrier, Quagamore here just coming at you with another Hall of Monuments video and a lot of you guys that watched the last video probably uh, finished with saying, hey, what the heck? I've just went to my Hall of Monuments and there's nothing there, where's my 8 points? Or, you're thinking, how do I get to my Hall of Monuments? What the heck? So, after you've finished playing through factions and you've received your Phoenix and so forth and leveled it up. Um, you're going to have to take a quest from Minister uh, of Maintenance uh, Ryagu uh, uh, Rai, Ryugan. Uh, sorry, I can't pronounce that very well. Uh, in Candy City, and he'll give you a quest to get you to the Eye of the North. And when you get to the Eye of the North, you're going to say, "Whoa, it's very bare. I can't display anything. What's going on?" So what you're going to have to do is play through the Eye of the North. So all the stuff that you've done hasn't gone to waste. Uh, it'll, you can just add it as you collect your tapestries. So you get different tapestries for doing different parts of the Eye of the North at uh, specific uh, junctions in the story. So as you play through, it doesn't take long to play through the Eye of the North. I literally did it in, I think, one or two afternoons. Not long at all. Uh, just a couple hours of gameplay. Um, it's not that hard to do. Um, so basically after you played through and uh, added your tapestries as you go along you can slowly add your uh, heroes and so forth that you've already got before and by the time you get to the very end of um, the Eye of the North you should be starting to accumulate a fair bit of gold or platinum as you want to say by salvaging and selling things and doing the missions, uh, especially the factions missions, play quite a lot of uh, platinum. And um, so you should be getting a nice little nest egg put away there as well. So that's going to come in very handy for what we're going to be doing next. So um, apart from getting your tapestries, I'm going to show you how to get a few more points in the Hall of Monuments now to bring you all the way up to 15 points in the Hall of Monuments. And that is your third tier, so your 150 achievement points in Guild Wars 2. So, and you haven't really played too much of the game, you've played Factions and Eye of the North. You've still got two whole campaigns to go to get a whole heap more points and a lot more fun, a lot more lore. So, after you finish the game, uh, you're going to go back into the central transfer chamber and there's going to be a few guys up the top there. One mentions Hero's Armor and Cloth of Brotherhood. The way to obtain the Cloth of the Brotherhood is to participate in Glint's Challenge. So, this challenge is... You need to protect Glint's baby. So it's a baby dragon and you need to protect it from an onslaught. Six waves of destroyers. Um, basically, the first time I did this, I got absolutely destroyed and wrecked. Um, it's not the easiest of challenges. It took me a, a fair few goes to work out what to do and learn how to set up uh, my party comp and different things like that. So I will make another video later on. Plus, there are some really good videos online already this so um, you can either search for it or you can wait for me to post one uh, over the next few days but um yeah as you play through the uh, Glynn's challenge um, you're gonna get heaps of cool little drops um, destroy cores and things like that that you can use for all different things um, plenty of other drops as well but most importantly if and when you complete Glynn's challenge you are guaranteed one cloth of the Brotherhood and this cloth of the Brotherhood can be exchanged uh, with the merchant for one hero's armor. So those heroes that you would already have by now that can wear this armor will be Jora, Ogden, Beck, Gwen, um, and a couple of other of the Eye of the North uh, heroes. So yeah, you got a few bit of heroes that you can uh, throw some armor on and get a few extra points there as well. Um, the other way that you're going to get a few more extra points is after completing um, Eye of the North, uh, you're going to have access to the uh, Warring Fighter um, quest line. And it's actually quite a quick quest, li um, quest line. Um, it can be quite difficult for newer players, but um, it's very, very rewarding. And through doing that, you're going to get two things. You're going to get an oppressor weapon that can be displayed in your Hall of Monuments. <laughs> so that's really, really cool. And you're going to get a hold of a rare mini. So just to recap everything that we've done, 
So we've gotten a few extra armor pieces for our heroes doing the glints challenge. So um, pick whoever you want to put in there. So that's going to give us two more points in the Hall of Monuments uh, leading up into the next layer as well. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is, because um, we've been gathering a fair bit of gold, we're going to get ourselves a nice set of armor. So um, I'm going to get the Azurian armor because I find it quite easy and cheap to make. Um, but that depends on who you want to put your points with. Um, also, we can add our oppressor weapon as well that we've got from completing the Warring Fighter, and that goes for our rare mini as well. So apart from the Cloth of the Brotherhood, there's no real grinding so far, and we've already hit 15 points. So like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'll bring you the next video very shortly, and I hope you're all enjoying the series, and I'll catch up with you somewhere in Tyria. Bye.